for the morning. We back at it again. Um, we're here to look at some charts. Just a quick couple of observation of where we at with it today. Um, yeah, man. Yesterday was quite dope. Like, um, I got involved in this push up um for euro. I mean, for GBP USD, we caught it right up there. But like, um, because of poor trade management, I wasn't able to fully capitalize as I had originally like saw and projected and planned out. So it is what it is. So here we are now. Um, this looks awfully familiar, similarly to like um to this what I'm seeing here. You know. Um, shout out to my mentor. I feel like I've identified the original consolidation. I'm currently on the buy side of the curve. Now we placed at the um, the second stage um, redistribution area. And I'm looking to take my profits beneath the original consolidation. I've been noting via my journal for the longest time that I really don't follow my trading plan. So today I'm challenging myself to follow this fully, 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 fully. I, 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 I'd be lying if I said I'm not aggressive today. Uh, I'm going in with the SFT 10K funded challenge account, currently on phase one. Um, the profit objective is about $800. I am currently, I have like 400 and something in the account profit right now. So I'm, I'm feeling frisky. I'm just like, fuck it, you know, YOLO, let's get it. Apologies for the language, but it is what it is. So this is the plan or the blueprint that I am looking to emulate today and follow. We're currently here with it. Let's go to the H1. The H1 is my primary time frame that I'm the time frame that I'm framing the trade on. I formed in already and entered some positions, but then I had a limit order just at the bottom of that fair value gap on the hourly time frame. We took out liquidity over there. A liquidity took that out low, broke that low displace the gain and you can see there i just hope the microphone isn't like catching the static from the laptop too much yeah it's breathing a bit heavy let me just look for something quickly all right hopefully this will prevent it from um from breathing too hard just move the mic yeah, we finally got the mic, thank God. Thank the charts, you know, thank God mostly. So as you can see via the H1 time frame, um inversion fair value gap over there. Um that's the 30 minute order block, and then this is a fair value gap on the H1 time frame. Um we broke that low over there. We're looking to take this liquidity down over there. Like I'm really just looking for or I'm an, I'm anticipating a big 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 sell, big sell. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm quite aggressive today. I've accepted the risk. It is what it is. So yeah, man, this is what I'm looking for. Market maker sell model. The smart money reversal occurred round about somewhere there on that side of the the curve. This was the buy side of the curve. Its original consolidation shot up. If we go to the 15 minutes, uh, we can see here, look at this as first stage accumulation. We hit that order block over there, second stage, and third stage or whatever. And then, yeah, redistribute that side. Um, but yeah, um, I've got quite a bit of size for me personally. I'm just trying to stretch my mind really. So, I'm looking for evidence or building narrative to support the idea that order flow is bearish. Um, I've looked at the price graph. That's an H4 level right over there. From, let's just look here. Let's see where it's a level over there on the h4 so yeah it took that liquidity out i'm in a very i'm doing something extremely dangerous trying to pick a top in a bullish market but you know um yeah 
trusting the model. Um, just wanna. I used. To, I was initially, or I was looking for it to go a bit higher, but not anymore. Let me just. Okay. Yeah. Took the volume up. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, man. For those who've been around, you know how much of a struggle it's been to get sound. But we are active now. It just sucks that it's picking up a whole lot of white noise. Um, or rather my laptop. Uh, I'll, I'll have to find a way or figure something out to fix that. But, yeah. Um, 30 minute time frame. Smart money reversal. That's the first, um first cell over there low risk cell that fair value gap over there let me just um, annotate that make that black like so Got this order block here to protect me. First thing about 29, 290, just a bit more because I have some entries that cover there and whatever. But I have another one here to make the position a full lot. Let's just adjust the stop to right about there. If you look on the daily time frame, also. Um, let's see what's going on here. That looks weird. That don't look right. <coughs> Apologies, that don't look right. But that's ideally what I'm targeting. If not that daily order block over there. Let me just make this visible on the lower time frames as well. Hours, cool. Yeah, if not ultimately that. Let me see how much that would be. That would be so nice. That GBP USD, man. Yeah. Still bearish. Not looking to enter or add any more to the position. I think I have 1.1 lots on at the moment. It's it's ridiculous how um how much of a of a mental hurdle it is moving from one lot to another or like increasing your position size. I'm currently going through the green pains of that now, but I'm risking within reason. always make sure I'm just detached from the outcomes as well you know I think that really helps to just manage everything but you know um, I'm looking to to just improve my my trade management skills overall that's what I'm trying to accomplish with these um, with the series but we're gonna see we'll see Yeah, I'm just looking for as long as price to just begin to move away from this. That's ideally what I'm looking for. Move away. Then we head back down. Got that order block over there. Let's just take a quick recap of the day Wednesday so far. So we have our bearings. Alt B. So... This is how I would go about my, my pre-trade routine or whatever. Opened up at midnight. Opened up at midnight. Price protracted slightly to the upside and then began to crash down. That was at the beginning of, 
Oops. That's that's so cool. Oh, that's that is cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, we opened up. Um, yeah, mid New York midnight, and then for London open or the beginning of the London kill zone. London price shot down. So I open that first um, for value gap over there, then the low over there, then for silver bullet we traded back up, traded back up into that, or creating an order block, and then we began to displace to the downside. We have this uh, hourly um, fear value gap that inverted bearish, pushed down there. So that's the one PDRA plus the order block, plus that fair value gap that's been rebalanced. So this is an intermediate term high. So as for my bearish idea to stand, <coughs> for the bearish idea to stand, I'm gonna need price to not even bother or try to go above this. The maximum that it can go is the consequent encroachment of this. So I'm just gonna move you up over there for now. Where was it again? Command Z. Okay, 173, I'm 137. 137, I'll remember that shortly. Okay, so I have this fair value gap with the order block and the consequent encroachment. The consequent encroachment is behind this inverted fair value gap over there. That's one, two, three, four. If price goes like past four bearish PDRAs while in a sell program, it's safe to say my idea is, 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 is not on, and then I, I should just throw away the trade. A part of me wants to add in more size, but I'm just gonna keep it humble, relax myself. If I manage what I currently have on now, I should be about, to, I should be able to pull in about, if price moves to my current predetermined position right over there, which is just before the four standard deviation, it's just under that that low over there um, that would allow us to create a new low of the week and also I should hypothetically or theoretically be able to pull in nine hundred and eighty dollars I'm going to keep it focused and keep that in mind as that is my goal um, yeah my overall goal for today though is just to manage risk impeccably and just make sure you know just make sure uh, market opens coming up soon we have some news as well hmm. i've positioned myself before the news Preliminary GDP numbers to be out, and then Bank of England Governor Governor Bailey speaks. Got that loading as well. Spanish flash CPI hit for the euro. Let's just take a quick look at the euro. Euro is high key in the same vicinity as us. Smart running reversal, the first sell. Uh, it's not at the second cell now. I might just decide to place a euro position. Let me do so now.
account drawdown is currently sixty-one dollars. Gonna add a point ten sell on the euro. Just place the point ten sell on the euro. Tight stop loss. $73 drawdown currently on the account. Hmm. Painted short on the euro. thinking of closing it hmm. it's gonna be interesting watching this back just to note how I'm reacting and stuff or the block over there Stop loss is currently like just above here. Feel right about there. Well, that's pending still. Going back to just investigate or look over what happened in London. Okay, 5 p.m. I mean a.m. Sorry. London. Okay, as you can see, bearish move in London. London's um, so, um, silver bullet was bearish. Took us down. 35 p uh, pips. Heading up now kind of anticipating an OTE anchoring on the body at equilibrium now fair value Pfft. I'd expect a sell price is still currently playing around in that H1 um, fair value gap break a block there Expecting bearish movement from this area. Gonna move back to the 30 minute just to for trade management. We've got this fair value gap in that order block there protecting me. And I'm just standing by. Ninety dollar drawdown currently on the account, but I have conviction in my my position. Set and forget. Stop losses in play, and hopefully I can post another video later saying, "Hey, I finally passed my." my trading account or evaluation thingy but catch y'all later we'll talk uh, and thank god for the skill